Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So I think everybody pretty much knows what a visco girl is, okay? And if you don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop up a little definition on the screen here. You can pause it if you'd like. But anyways, it's basically 2019's Tumblr girl, except really expensive. <laughs> so I saw all these visco girl transformation videos going around and I thought they were so fun. So I was like, I wanna do one of those. So I looked into it, you know, started doing my research and then I realized, wow, it's expensive. I mean, I can't be the only one that doesn't wanna pay around hundred bucks for a backpack, especially a backpack that I still don't even know how to pronounce. And also the Birkenstocks, the Hydro Flask, the Brandy Melville clothes, the Urban Outfitters clothes, like it's a lot of money. So me being the frugal 22 year old that I am, I was like, I wanna do this transformation, but I don't wanna spend all that money. So how can I do this? And then this little light bulb went off in my head and I was like, I'm gonna do this Walmart edition because Walmart is the place to go. That was a very long introduction. I mean, I basically could have just said I'm doing the ultimate Visco Girl transformation Walmart edition, but I just went into a whole different spiel of things. So I did a little Walmart adventure and I found a lot of these items that these Visco Girls are buying, but for so much less. Obviously they're not the same, but they're pretty good dupes. So anyways, we're gonna go on this journey together and become the ultimate Walmart edition Visco girl. <laughs> so I think before we jump into the actual transformation, I wanna do a little haul on everything that I got. So let's jump into that. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I have never liked Birkenstocks. I just don't understand them. I don't think they're necessarily super cute, but that's just me and that's just my style. But I know that's like a ultimate necessity to become a Visco girl. So I went ahead and I got these and I gotta say they're a pretty good dupe. They're not 100% like the Birkenstocks. I mean, this part up here is a little bit different, but I mean, that's a pretty good dupe, right? And honestly, I'm gonna say, I think these are way cuter than the Birkenstocks. I wanted to get these in either like black, brown or white, but this was the only color that they had in my size, so had to go with these. So next thing I picked up was this cute little scrunchie, and I'm gonna be honest, I have already been wearing this because I never realized how comfortable scrunchies are. I always used to wear the regular hair ties and they kind of hurt your head, you know? If you wear the regular hair ties, you know they're kind of uncomfortable. But these bad boys, they're comfy. And also you can wear them as a bracelet, so it's kind of like a two for one deal. So these next two things are the only makeup items that I got, but I feel like these are the only two makeup items that Visco girls are known for. So that would be, of course, the Caramex. And I've got to say, I've never tried this before, and I'm kind of excited because everybody raves about this, so it must be good. And then I also picked up a mascara because I feel like they always have these like really long natural lashes. I never see them wearing false lashes like I'm wearing right now. I've noticed that they keep the makeup pretty natural, so that's why I really only picked up these two things. This next thing is gonna be my dupe for the infamous Hydro Flask, and obviously Walmart does not sell Hydro Flask, so I kinda had to improvise here, but I gotta say, this water bottle is so cool. See you later, Hydro Flask, that's what I gotta say. <laughs> so this is what I got, and I think it's so cute. I love the lime green. Cool thing about it, it's not just a basic water bottle, it has this little inside part to it where you can actually put like fruit, like lime, lemon, strawberries and stuff like that. So basically you can infuse your water with whatever you want to and I just thought that was so cool and I'm actually so excited to try this out. So obviously this doesn't look like the Hydro Flask at all, but it's pretty much all that Walmart had that kind of reminded me of it a little bit anyways, like the shape. And at least this one won't make that annoying sound when you drop it. <laughs> I think we all know that sound and it's just... No. Next thing I bought are these little things, and they're basically little hair ties, but I see a lot of girls wearing these around your wrist, same with the scrunchies. I know these have a specific name, but I cannot think of it right now. So that's what they look like, and I did get a pack of four. I'm thinking I'll probably end up wearing these around my wrist with the scrunchie maybe, just to kind of stack it up, because normally Visco girls have their arms like stacked with like scrunchies, bracelets, you name it, they got it. This next purchase I'm kind of disappointed in, but it was legit the only thing they had there. I think we all know that Visco girls love their little puka shell necklaces, like they're always wearing them. And Walmart had nothing like that whatsoever. So I wanted to get something that was sort of a choker because they don't really wear the long necklaces, they're always wearing the chokers. So I picked up this one, so it's a clear choker and then it has a bunch of these little stars on it. I mean, I don't know if they'd be caught dead wearing anything like this because they're always rocking those shells, but 
This was the closest thing that I could find, so we're just gonna have to work with it. One thing I've noticed is that they love to decorate their Hydro Flask with a bunch of stickers. So I went ahead and I got this pack of stickers right here. And I didn't even realize this when I bought them, but they're actually Lore DIY's brand. I didn't even know she had stickers at Walmart. So yeah, it's just a bunch of different little stickers. So we're gonna have to deck my water bottle out in all of these. One thing I'm wondering though is how do they clean those things with all the stickers on them? Like, like do they peel all the stickers off? Are they waterproof stickers? I mean, we may never know. All I know is that these are definitely not waterproof. So I think we all know the Visco Girl backpack. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of it because I literally do not have a clue. If anybody wants to help me out in the comments with the name of that backpack, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Obviously Walmart does not sell those backpacks, so I had to go on a little mission and really hunt to find something that looked like it. And I mean, this is definitely not a 100% dupe by any means, but I think that the concept is there. What I ended up getting is this backpack. I feel like it's somewhat sort of the same shape, but this was legit the only thing that they had there that even remotely looked like their backpacks. So this is what I went with. And that's what the back looks like there. So super cute. I mean, I really have no use for like a hundred dollar backpack. I'm honestly probably gonna use this for work after this video. So it kind of works out perfectly. So for the clothing, I wanted to pick up a few options. I didn't necessarily know what I really wanted to go with. So I picked up a few things. They love their oversized shirts and that's definitely one thing we have in common. So I went ahead and I picked up this oversized shirt. It's gonna be really hard to show. So I got this out of the men's section and I just thought it was so cute. And I also thought it really fit the theme. Well, along with that shirt, I did get another oversized one. So this is just a Def Leppard one and it's really hard to show, sorry guys. I also really thought this one fit the theme and not gonna lie, I can't wait to wear these to bed after this video because they feel so comfortable. So going with those oversized shirts, I wanted to kind of complete the outfit and I know they like to wear shorts. I went ahead and I got these and i think these are so cute they just say the beetles on them i figured you probably wouldn't be able to see these much underneath the shirts anyways so it kind of really didn't matter what shorts i got but i mean it helps that they're super cute right next thing i picked up were just these leggings and i had to get some leggings because visco girls love their leggings they didn't have a huge selection for my size so i had to go with this kind of like charcoal gray color i wish i could have got black but this is all they really had to complete the look with the leggings i picked up this cute little striped crop top and this honestly reminded me of something that you would find at brandy melville like seriously this looks like something you would get from there so if you like brandy melville go check out walmart <laughs> so that is everything that i picked up for this transformation and now i think we should actually get into the transformation i think the first step we should do is makeup so let's get to it okay so off camera i just went ahead and i took off my lashes and also the lipstick i was wearing and the mascara which was very hard to do and try to not m mess up the rest of my face let me tell you very hard to do i think first i want to try this carmex stuff because it is just calling my name because my lips are so dry right now it's insane it's really soft, it's also kind of minty, so it's super refreshing. I actually like this a lot. I will say the one thing I've noticed about this though that I don't really like is the smell. It smells kind of like burning plastic, like not good, not good at all. Does anyone remember this mascara? I used to use this mascara all the time when I was in like junior high. Oh, it was my favorite and I haven't used it in so long. Visco girls love their mascara, so we gotta pile up on that. That is one layer, but I think we're gonna have to layer it up. I think so. I googled Visco Girl makeup because I wasn't sure if they wore it on their bottom lashes or not. And majority of the pictures that I see, I think they are. So we're gonna do some bottom mascara too. I typically don't like bottom mascara. I don't know, unless I'm wearing like a good eyeshadow look or some liner on the bottom. I really don't wear bottom mascara. So this is gonna be different for me. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the final makeup look. So I've got my mascara, check, and I've got my lip balm, check. I'm sure a lot of them wear eyeshadow too, but majority of what I've seen is just like pretty natural. So this is what we're gonna go with. So now that the makeup's done, I think it's only right if we move on to accessories. Scratchy. So next we have the hair things that I still can't remember the name of, and I'm just thinking which ones do I wanna put on? I think we're gonna do the beige one, and should we do black? Do I look like a visco girl? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, this is slightly cutting off my circulation, quite a bit. Um, I think that looks slightly better, right? Right? <laughs> I just remembered I'm wearing a ring and some earrings that need to come off because they are not 
Let's go. Last but not least, we gotta put this choker on. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I look like I'm wearing barbed wire around my neck right now. <laughs> and obviously it is definitely not a puka shell necklace by any means, but it's just gonna have to do. So I think the next thing that's in order is to decorate our water bottle. Just a heads up, I already cleaned this out. There's actually still a little bit of like water residue in here if you see that. So what sticker should we put on first? I think we should go with the pineapple because why not? And let's just stick it right there. Very crooked, good job, Morgan. <laughs> Pineapple, lightning bolt, we're on fire right now. I just realized these are puffy stickers, so they're not sticking super well. Next, let's do this moon because it's just calling my name. The moon really doesn't want to stick. Sadly, the moon is a no-go. Honestly, guys, should we do the unicorn? Because I think we should. The unicorn doesn't want to stick and that makes me really sad. This is what it's looking like so far. I know, I'm an artist, what can I say? So I'm gonna admit that most of these stickers did not work that well with this, AKA all of these, <laughs> but we do have some on there and I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so I just went ahead and filled this up and put some lemon in it and I think we should give it a taste because I'm curious to see just how good this is gonna taste. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste the lemon. Ooh, that's actually really good. Can your Hydro Flask do this? No. Also, does anybody have a hard time saying the plural version of Hydra Flask? Because I do. So now that that's done, it's time to move on to my outfit. So this is option one and I am wearing those shorts and I'm also wearing those sandals. I think this is a really good outfit, but I'm still gonna go ahead and try on the rest of the stuff that I got. So here's the second t-shirt option, but I think I like the first one. I think the first one goes with like the scrunchie and the necklace better. I mean, this one's still super cute and it definitely does go with the whole vibe, but I still think I like the first one better. This would be outfit number two, and I still think out of everything that I like the first outfit the best. I still like this one a lot, but I wish the top was like a little bit shorter. I just have it kind of rolled up a little bit, but it's actually kind of long. Like it goes all the way down to there. <laughs> better. And I do. Should we have a Visco Girl montage? Because I think yes. quite the montage. So I feel like the only thing left to do is to take some Visco Girl pictures, so let's go do it. Okay guys, so that is it for my Visco Girl Transformation Walmart edition. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun video to film. My pictures didn't turn out the greatest, but it is such a gross day here today, so I really couldn't go outside and take any. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to go check me out on Instagram. It's always linked down below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.